Hi guys, I'm Mark. I'm Penny. And we are the Oyster Boys, and today we're going to be trying this uh, Northern Star Chocolate Caramel Biscuit Porter from Northern Monk. Yeah, I mean, obviously we've done one from these guys before. They did the Neapolitan. Oh, the Neapolitan that, uh, ice cream. Uh, yeah, it didn't really go down well with us. For that us, one. for us. For us. Yeah. If you want to see it and learn a bit about the history of Northern Monk, link up there for that video. Um, yes. Quite an interesting brewery, actually, because they, they are one of the ones that started off as a cuckoo brewery, yes, aren't they? Yes, they did, yeah, indeed. So, obviously, now based in Leeds, uh, I picked this one. Personally, I, the reason why I picked it was the fact that, obviously, the, the flavours on this sounded better that they go with a port. I mean, ice cream and lager... A porter, not a port. Porter, sorry. <laughs> ice, ice, ice cream and lager, um, not of... Not, not a huge... Thing, but no. I, for, for this, for a, a porter, I thought, yeah, I can dig chocolate caramel biscuit sort of thing, so... Uh, I see they've also been announced the 100 best small companies to work for in 2020. That's pretty yeah, nice I mean, accolade, I'd, isn't I'd, it? Yeah. yeah, definitely. I mean, I'd love to work for a brewery myself. So, um, I mean, lots of ingredients. <laughs> We've run through this before. You know, your oats, your lactose. So it's all in there. Creamy, sweetness. That's what we should be hopefully get for. So, I mean, obviously a porter as well. Difference between a porter and stout? I don't know. What is it? Name. The name? Well, stout obviously meant... Bigger beer. Sort of bigger beer, really a stronger beer. This is more obviously your 5.2%, so probably not a, a strong traditional stout compared to it. But uh, Porter, maybe the names come from the Dockers, you know, back a popular drink for the yeah. dark beer. So uh, it's all a bit of uh, myths and hearsay of what people think it, the name originates from. So should we get it in the glass? I think we should, yeah. Good to know on the back, it's uh, two pants. Two pants? What's that? Do you have to take two pants off after drinking this? No idea, two <laughs> pants. Let's get it in the glass. Yeah. Well, it's dark, as yeah, you'd expect. As you'd expect. Tan head, yeah, as you'd expect. Head. Looks, I love that colour, though. Yeah, viscosity uh, is quite, you know, it's a little bit thick, isn't it? How, how strong is this one? This is 5.2%. Not too bad. No. It's one of the weakest, Perfect, one of the uh, weakest stouts we've tried recently yeah. on the well, channel, like, well, isn't it? Well, it's not stout, is it? Oh, sorry, yeah. Well, yes. well the, the, I think the last two dark beers that we've had have been 12% uh, and 10%. Yes. So this is, uh, this is going to be one of the weak ones. <laughs> yes, I think ones. the only small, small one was that one that we made. Oh yeah, the yeah, uh, the even Guinness that was five point six, five point seven percent. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it, it it looks nice from what you'd expect from a porter. Really, it's it's dark. Yeah, a bit mean, of carbonation going at the glass a little bit, a bit fizzier than I thought it'd be. Yeah, uh, yeah. If I'm honest, from the look well, of uh, it, the head looks nice. It looks like nice tight tight bubbles. Yeah. So that looks like a frothy head. So I'm really excited. I mean. It's going to be, you know, run of the mill. A nice score for me, 7.5. Yeah, I was going to say a 7.7 7 because, it, it, you know, you'd order and it's, it's exactly what you'd expect and you'd be yes. happy when you got it, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, definitely. You know, let's, uh, I'm going to get my nose in there. Yeah. And so, chocolate caramel biscuit. Yes. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> let's see. Cho so much wow. chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> Caramel as well, definitely yeah. getting that caramel. Not finding the biscuit, but you know, that might be. No, it doesn't say the flavor, yeah. yeah, cook them in the flavor. But chocolate and caramel definitely. It smells really nice. It, it does. It, that does smell, smell that really good. sort of sweetness coming through. Yeah, I'm going to give that an 8.2 for the smell because it does smell really, really, really good. 8.1 for me. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's sort of almost exactly what it says on the tin. Getting that vanilla because it says it's got a vanilla in there as well. I'm sort of getting that through. It's. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to try this, so... Well, let's, let's dive in. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. That's really nice. It is really nice, isn't it? Quite carbonated. Yeah, I like I say... It's, more it's than I expected. Fizzier, yeah, fizzier than I thought it'd be. More carbonation yeah. than I thought there would be. So, but... Um, I like that it's got a bit of bitterness in it as well because yes. we, we've had a couple of like flavoured stouts, I guess you'd call them. We've done like um, Cinder Toffee. They're very desserty, haven't they? We've done the King of the Woodland. Yes, yes. I think up there as well, uh, which was pistachio and honeycomb and obviously wooden creatures as well. Yes. And they've been very, very sweet. Yes. Whereas this one, it's got those flavours that it's saying that the chocolate, the caramel, not finding the biscuit so much. No, maybe, maybe uh, definitely right at, not. Maybe a little bit right at the back end, mm. but it's not a, as prominent a flavour. Not, I'm, not, I'm not disappointed. Maybe a wrong. slight hint of uh, biscottiness, you know, that almondy yeah. type of maybe. Um, but, but like I say, with this one, it's not got that sickly sweetness to it, it which I, I actually really I, like. Yes, yes, same, yeah. same. It makes it more of a beer than sort of like a, I don't know, a sort of alcoholic 
beveragey cocktail beer, if that makes sense. We're caught, yeah, coming across I, I, I think that'll be, you know, really reflected in at the end when we do the sessionability because those are the ones that we've talked about. They're like a, almost like a novelty drink. Yes. Like you'd have one of them. Yes. And then you, and you'd drink it and you'd be like, well, I've had that. Yeah, really Great, sweet, take nice. Take it off the list. I'm not exactly. Gonna... And, you know, you say enjoy it, but... You know, I think this is 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 a more you could have this more regularly. Yeah, exactly. From the way it tastes, you wouldn't you wouldn't like get really. It's not going to be a chore to drink it. No, if you know what I mean. Where where no. some of the others they they can get to that point. But I think taste wise, I'm just going to go in again just to make yeah. sure. I mean, the carbonation is really surprising. Yeah, um, and and uh, I'd say out, if there was one thing to let down, it would be the slight carbonation, but. The mouth feels great. The flavours there. I really like that bitterness. So, um, I, I think for me, I, I think it's seven, eight. I'm going to give it. I, I'm going to go in uh, into. I think eight point two. Oh. I really do because I, yeah, I, I'd 100% have that again. And it's really not. It's just the right level of sweetness. Yeah. So, and I like the alcohol percentage as well because some of them they've been. Very warming. <laughs> should, have, should have put it. I mean, what, what time are we on now? It's almost coming up to eleven o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Second beer of the day, uh, and you know, I'm, I'm happy that it's what, what was it? Five point five point two. Five point two. I'm happy yeah. about that. Um, I'm happy that we're not chinning Devel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> eleven a.m. again. Yeah. No. It's... Um, but yeah, I, I'm happy with that. Uh, how much was it? <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> You don't often see this, right? But this actually happens every time we film, where one of us asks the price and the other one's not done their fucking research. Um, I try and hide it in the edits, but today I'm not going to. So, an insight into the life of the Oyster Boys here. Are you going to tell us how much it is, Penny? Yep. You got your mic on, just tell us now. £2.40. <laughs> He's shouted like he's not wearing a microphone. <laughs> £2.40. £2.40. Now, this was bought from a very, very, very well-known uh, supermarket chain. Who've recently really upped their game on this. Yeah, series. they have, yeah. Um, so £2.40 for full 40 mil. Um, it's mid, mid, mid the range, you know what I mean? Um, it's a craft beer. The price thing's 40 always turned off by supermarkets, isn't yeah. it? Because if you bought this from a bottle shop, I can guarantee it wouldn't be £2.40. No. It'd be more. But, no. you know, supermarkets are really, you really... A pound some... cheaper, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Um, uh, £2.40, I'd be, I'd be very happy paying £2.40 for it. I'd probably give that an eight. I, I mean, if we can compare it with all the other supermarket beers we bought and had, 7.5 for me. Mm. Not bad, not bad. It's not, you know, blowing me away going, how oh, they get, they're giving it away. Do you know what I mean? So, um, if they were, I'd take it. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's nice beer, yeah, nice beer. Um, sessionability. Yeah. I reckon I could probably have. I mean, regular viewers to the channel will know. I'm not a dark beer guy. No. Not a dark beer guy. I could probably have three and a half of these before I thought I'm going to have to move on to a lighter beer. And that's actually pretty good for anyone that doesn't see me rate dark beers well, often. For me, who does like dark beers, I, it'd be a six for me. Yeah. Yeah, I really like it. It's really sessionable. It's not that sickly sweetness. Um, I think on draft, it'd be great. It'd probably sort that carbonation level that, you know, yeah, that for yeah. us, you know, everyone's different that sort that out. So for me, I could probably, you know, have six pints, like I say, on a, a, a wintry autumn eve next to a fire. You know, yeah, I'd really... I'd really enjoy it. and I could do it as well because it's only 5.2%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? The strength is bob on for sessionability. The bitterness is, is, is there as well. It's not too too sick, so yeah. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that's it for this video. Yeah, so. Um, do you know what the score is for it? Uh, should I run to my phone and get... <laughs> no, <laughs> no, just, get, just, no, just, no, just, just get... Quick fly map. Okay, get it. There, there is. is the oyster <laughs> score for this beer. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Uh, please smash like, hit subscribe. Yeah, uh, check out the other videos that, that we took, the other Northern... Monk uh, video that we've done. Share this video with a friend. Yeah. Might be the birthday, anniversary, whatever. Send it out. Give them the beer and then send them the link in the card. Write it in the card. <laughs> just write the really long YouTube yeah, link yeah, yeah. in the card. Well, or they could just do the, U o the YouTube slash Oyster Boys. Yeah, youtube.com forward slash Oyster Boys Brewing Co. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks very much. Catch you next time. Oysters out. 
I always expect there to be a shotgun sound when we do that. But it, 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 it,